Okay, good evening folks. Um, a while ago, a couple of months ago, maybe half a year ago, maybe a year ago, I don't, I don't remember when exactly, there was a guy and I promised him to make a, a subject about the biblical prophecies. I said, hey guy, that's a, that's a good subject and so I will make a movie about it or uh, some, some several movies about it. Well, uh, I didn't forget, um, but something in my private life happened, and so it uh, took some time. But uh, here it is. It's it's uh, it's a huge uh, subject. Uh, it's it's huge. I don't know how many uh, movies I'm going to spend on it, but but this is the first movie on it. And it's it's. Uh, but finally, I. Uh, uh, did my promise to 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 talk about this subject uh, prophecies in the Bible and that the prophecies that are are being fulfilled and which also proves the Bible right again next to many other things um, so ma many many of those people um, reasons well he cannot bring anything so he cannot defend the Bible and so on well that's that's a big lie and that's not true that's what they want uh, but it's not true because uh, here the subject is and um, I'm gonna discuss it um, because I'm not afraid of it and I know the Bible is right uh, also on the prophecies etc 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 but it took me some time uh, because of private matters so Okay, well here it is. Let's get started. Okay. Well, um, the prophecy, the Bible is a is a very thick book. I mean, if you look at uh, if, if you look at the Bible, and I got several Bibles here. Um, this is the King James version. This is a Dutch uh, version that I use uh, very much, every, almost at daily. And uh, you see all kinds of paper to remind me some positions of of the Bible. And this is also an English Bible, the New English Bible. I got several Bibles. I got I got uh, several uh, different forms, etc., etc., etc. But all the, they they say the th same thing, maybe a little bit different, translated from one Bible to the other. But the, the main message is the same, of course. Otherwise, it would be strange. Um, but in the Bible, uh, one of the, the 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 striking things of the Bible and God's words is the prophecies that words of God that tell something about the future which is something going to happen God always 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 let people know what he's planned to do in the future God never will surprise you uh, unless you don't want to listen to God of God then, then everything he does is a surprise but then that's your own fault not listening to God but God always tells us in advance what he's planned to do in the future and he tried to communicate that message as as good and as soon as he can to people like you the the question is do you listen to him that's another question if you don't listen to him you, then things go come to su like a surprise to you but that's not strange because you didn't want to listen okay that's your own choice but God tells uh, all kinds of things in advance, uh, and so it, that, that's why the book, the, the Bible, is so, such a thick book. And one of the thing, uh, key things is that it, uh, I don't know how many percent, but a, a large part of the Bible uh, is prophetic, is 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 telling things about the future, and prophecies can have a double layer in into it. It's like uh, so some Bible teaching a teacher explained to me that you can see the Bible as, as l looks like mountains and if you stand on the top of one mountain uh, and you look at it then it, it, it can cover also or you, you look over the, the first mountain you can see also the prophecy for the next uh, mountain and so that it covers also not only this present happening but also happening in the future so it got a double layer in it um, so, so prophecies can be for for present, but also for future future things to happen. Uh, one example is is that the the the, the prophecy of Jesus is is uh, there was a guy I forgot his name I, I think it was Achaz 
that he was uh, promised a child, Emmanuel, and that uh, she would come from a virgin, and that that the name of the child would be Emmanuel, God with us. But that was a, pro uh, a prophecy for his, uh, for the, the lady uh, that he married or something like that. But also it was a prophecy for um, the coming of Jesus, the, and Miriam, the, uh, Joseph's wife, uh, the. the, the earthly mother of Jesus um, the, the woman uh, which bo uh, has born uh, Jesus but also for example uh, uh, um, the son of Abraham Yitzchak and the name of Yitzchak also tells uh, that he is a promised son in the old age of Abraham that God would promise him his son and he had sacrificed that son and that's also prophetic to Jesus so, but also a prophetic to Abraham himself, that he would get a son, and he called it Yitzchak, and... <coughs> Sorry for that. So, the, this, a, a prophecy can have more layers and more meanings in and coming to pass, coming to be factual in more than one way, or in more times, in more position in time. Uh, so... Sometimes that makes prophecies hard to understand, or, or from hey, what, what, for what time is this meant, and so on. So that's that's where the aspect of interpretation comes from, as well. And also, uh, I have to agree, some of the prophecies are hard to explain because of interpretation. And I, I men uh, I'm mentioning it here also on the board, um, and I'll discuss it right right away. Um, are all prophecy dependent of interpretation? Dependence of interpretations. Uh, well, only partly. A part of the prophecies you can speculate. For, okay, what should mean? Wh wh what is this prophecy? Is that for this or for that? That's only a small part of the prophecies. Yes, you can have different interpretations of it. Um, but a large part of the prophecies are literally, uh, literally come to be or will literally come to be in the future um, a lit so a literal uh, a fulfillment in what it actually says and of course I give you some, some, some examples um, and that, that for, for those literal uh, 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 fulfillments is no room for interpretation left because the, the prophecies are so very specific and so clear and they also have come to be to fulfillment so literally like it is said it would come so there is no room for interpretation this is the prophecy this is the fact they match 100 percent without any doubt um, so there, there are two ways of prophecies in in that area yes one is interpretable uh, uh, for a little bit more than one uh, explanation and uh, but the other ones are very specific and very clear I'll give you some examples uh, for example um, that Israel is in um, I will go out of the picture the, uh, Isaiah 27 verse 6 that Israel would uh, um, bring forth f uh, fruits and grow fruits that will spread out of the world well we all know that it's literally in the Bible that, that Israel will have that um, I can read it, so, I guess. Isaiah 27. And th this prophecy has literally come to pass. And it's still happening right now in our days. I mean, everybody knows the Jaffa oranges. Uh, 27 verse 6 mm -hmm. in uh, time to come Jacob's offspring shall uh, take root and Israel shall bud and blossom Israel will, will flourish again will blow uh, will bl grow and etc and they shall fill the whole earth with fruit so this is very specific that in time to come so in the future from the point of view of Isaiah in the time to come Jacob's offspring 
so the, the descendants of Jacob shall take root so they will go, go back to, to Israel and, and grow over there and Israel shall bud and blossom yeah? and they shall fi fill the whole earth with fruit well that can only be applicable in our days because that's the whole world you can find the Jaffa oranges everywhere and not only the Jaffa oranges but also the grapefruits and so on so on so on so, this is really has come to pass. This, that's, there is no room for interpretation. Yeah. Another one is that Jerusalem shall be out of the, uh, out of the walls. Um, well, Jerusalem was, was in, in the ancient days was built with a, a strong wall uh, around it to protect it against the enemies. I don't know where, where it says, says well, some, maybe somewhere in Isaiah but, or, or some other prophets. I don't know exactly. But the thing is, uh, some uh, part of the Bible says that Jerusalem, in our days, will be built outside of the walls. Well, in our days, that is very normal. I mean, uh, the ancient cities were built with a wall to protect it against the enemies. If, it, if Jerusalem would be built outside of that wall, you know, without any wall around that, it would be stupid. You would be a very bad king if you would left your houses and the, sit the, rest, the outskirts of the city be unprotected by a wall. So for that time when it was written down, it was stupid to do so. But nowadays, today, this prophecy literally came to fulfillment because the ancient city of Jerusalem is with a wall but the rest of the city, the urbans, what we know, now know as urbans and, and the out, outskirts of Jerusalem are without wall and God is protecting, as the prophecy says, God is protecting the city himself and I don't remember exactly where, where, where the prophecy is, is fixed if I remember or I find it then I'll let you know but it, it, it is a literal, literal fulfillment of the prophecy in the Bible yeah? It, there is no room for interpretation.